<laughs> of course you're both here. In my apartment. Why wouldn't you be? We were waiting for you. How does it feel to be the idle spokesperson appearing on every newscast, reputable and otherwise? I'm exhausted. The Oracle has been keenly following your progress. She records every appearance, every interview. She may be your biggest fan. The way she talks, you'd think she never doubted who you were. Well, at least she's been of great help to your online campaign. Everyone here has also been busy. Would you like to hear the latest? How about you, Apollo? Still planning on leaving the city? Soon, I think. All the attention on the idols is proving... rather taxing. Ooh, running away again, brother. I suppose you could say that. Really, I just came by to see Grace and apologize one last time. I told you you don't need to keep doing that. <laughs> yes, well... I'm glad things worked out as they did. You'll all be fine without me. Oh, you know, one day you will learn, brother. Not today, but someday. How about you, Persephone? Any big changes? Not unless you count my many trips to Hades. No, it's business as always. Trips to Hades? I am no longer its queen, but I am still the most familiar with its workings. And Hades is changing. Perhaps it's the mere fact that the mortal world is aware of us again. I don't know. Or something else is stirring. Is this something we should be concerned about, sister? Not yet. I'll let you know. As for everything else, the club continues, more popular than ever. The world turns. What more is there to say? Has anyone heard about Athena? It's been a while. The revelation of the idols to the mortal world went far better than she could have dreamed. I... I think it shook her. Well, she was wrong about a great many things. As the goddess of wisdom, that's not an easy realization. So she left. Back to the old world. Back to the old world? It's a long way to travel by herself. Well, I asked her to go. There's so many of us who went missing during the war. The idols going public might bring them out of hiding. Athena wanted to leave, and this gave her a purpose. We'll see if anything comes of it. Is Hermes still around? I'm surprised they're not here with the rest of you. Well, we've barely seen them of late. Hermes has been busy. They've become a social media darling. Or so the Oracle tells me. The truly amusing part is that they're not even trying to be famous. They simply can't help it. Hermes likes to people please, it's true. Hopefully it won't backfire on them. Fame is a double-edged sword. Hermes lives a charmed life. Never fear. Well, it's odd seeing their face on so many billboards, but I agree. Let Hermes have their fun. What about Pan? I haven't seen him since the trial. No one's seen him. Shouldn't we be worried? It is Pan, and what he does will reflect on us all. Pan is harmless. Uh, mostly harmless. As far as I can tell, he did regret his involvement in Calliope's death. He'll lay low. At least for a time. He'll be back with some new scheme to make us all groan. You're not wrong. I heard Eros and Venus left the city together. Is that right? You heard correctly. Venus wanted to use her fame to do good works as an activist, and Eros is assisting her. Let's be realistic. He's there to catch her when her efforts inevitably implode. You're being uncharitable, sister. I was at one of Venus's rallies, and it was rather invigorating. Aphrodite always did love being adored by the masses. Well, at any rate, Eros sounded keen. He thinks this is a much better approach than wallowing in Olympus. 
<laughs> you mean he's glad to have time to pursue a new lover or two? <laughs> Who could blame him? What about Hecate and Asterion? Are they still at the reliquary? Hecate leave the reliquary? I'd sooner believe the sun would go out. It doesn't hurt that they seem enraptured with each other's company. Asterion is all Hecate is willing to discuss. Do I need to know every detail of his sexual prowess? I do not. Didn't Hecate say it is written that she and the Minotaur would eventually break up? Well, eventually, for Hecate could be centuries from now. In the meantime, she gushes about her new boyfriend like a schoolgirl. You should hear Asterion, then. His gushing puts hers to shame. I'm happy for them both. And Medusa? I take it she's no longer at the reliquary. She's staying with me, for now. You did promise my help with her curse, if you recall. Oh, um, uh, how's that going? Better than I might have expected. I have a few old friends who owe me favors, and they're making headway. Medusa is positively giddy at the prospect. She offered to help manage the underworld as repayment, which I can't say I mind. Hopefully she doesn't turn it into her personal buffet. Not if she wants her curse broken. We have uh, an understanding. It's kind of you to take such a chance, sister. Oh, I'm used to handling the odd snake. Frankly, we owe her the opportunity to try. <sighs> I still can't believe it's all over. Oh, it's scarcely over, Grace. Now that you've toppled the castle, it's barely just begun. Oh, I didn't do that. On the contrary, you absolutely did. <laughs> Perhaps we should leave you alone, Grace. You must be tired from your trip. Kind of feels like this is it, huh? Like we won't see each other for a long time. No. Not like this. You're right. Everything has changed. Stormy skies clear. Soft breeze blow The ocean lies calm Stars are out We our paths I've no doubt Fresh call.